Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am back from Bali. So, I thought I would do a Bali haul. You might have seen um, my Bali vlog that just went up a couple of days ago. Um, sorry, like... <laughs> <laughs> I like just curled my hair so it's just all a bit puffy anyway I have a cold I have been bedridden bedridden for the past couple of days I got very sick on the plane home and I'm just not here for it um, but feeling a bit better today just not going to do a try on portion for this just because I'm a bit achy and I just don't feel like getting dressed a thousand times if that makes sense so I mean my PJs for like the past two days that I'm just dressed on my top half. I'm going to be popping up some photos that I post on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, it's at Bianca underscore Galea. I'll have it on the screen or in the description. But yes, so what was I saying? Yeah, I'll be popping up some photos that I post on there with me and some of the outfits. Not all of them, unfortunately, um, but just doing the best that I can. So first up, what I see is the only pair of shoes that I picked up and they are what everyone and their dog was wearing. <laughs> um, they are just kind of knockoff Birkenstocks. So I got the white pair because I've previously owned a black pair kind of like this and I was just kind of sick of it. So I really like the white and especially for over there, it was nice to kind of put the white with darker colors. I just got these for $20. So um, you know what? pretty expensive still but Birkenstocks are like a hundred bucks I'm pretty sure so to get a knockoff pair that are actually so comfy um, and just really good quality I thought was a pretty good deal the next kind of random thing I got was actually one of these things Oops. one of these things oh smells like barley um and it kind of like so you can hang it on like ceiling and I really want one to hang like a little plant in in the corner of my room it just comes with like a little tassel under here and you just pop the plant in here I just thought it would really jazz up my room jazz up am I a 60 year old woman um <laughs> just would make it look groovy I'm still a 60 year old woman if I say that okay I'm just liking those like little terms so this was five dollars and they are selling these types of things in australia and all around the world for a lot more than that so i was very happy with that in the shops at bali in like the i wouldn't say shops like the little stalls um in bali oh all of that fabric is just like in the air um you do have to bargain or barter or whatever it's called with them um but most of them will give you a reasonable pr a reasonable price of things if not another store will have it so you can go to them but i feel so bad when i have to like bargain with them i did like my dad did it for like the first few times and then i was like there by myself or with my mom and i would do it and i'd be like i'm so sorry like i just don't want to pay that much for this next things i will show you are the bags that i picked up most excited about these to be honest so these are all fakes um i did get them for like anywhere between 10 to 20 dollars i didn't pay more than 20 dollars for a bag so the first one i got was this mimco double pouch bag so as you can see it's like double here and it has two zips and there's one here and then one there and then it says Mimco and it has a shoulder strap so I just thought this would be a really good just everyday bag it's like quite compact so you can fit a lot in there but it still gives you room for quite a lot of things um, I just really liked the look of this and how simple it was so I did bring this with me to like dinner and stuff when we were over in Bali because instead of like the big bag that I'd bring daily I just bought this with me at night so yeah next one is also a Minko one and it is this one so it has like kind of this woven pattern on it and it's like that texture and then at the back it has a zip and then it has a little tassel on the bag and it's just another shoulder bag Oops. like that and then it has the Mimco symbol there and open up and then there's like a um oh no it just opens up from the zip up here and it's just a really cute big bag that you can fit your whole life in so it's very deceiving it looks quite small but then you open up the flap and you're like 
got an extra little portion there, so that's fun. That was a really good purchase. I think it looks so sleek and so nice, so love that. The next thing was more like Bali-esque, and instead of getting black, I got this color, but I don't know how often I'll wear it. I think I only got this for $5, so it was pretty good, but um, it's just like this crochet kind of bag, almost just like woven as well. Um, but yeah, so it's just like a little cute shoulder bag. It's so cute, I think. Um, and it has a little zip compartment at the front where you can just fit a couple things in there. And then it has the big zip. My head looks huge. Big zip in there. You can fit some things. I just thought it was super cute. Very cool for summer. I think just a bit different. Because they were selling those circle like wooden bags and everyone had those and I was just kind of like a bit over it by the time I got there in in Australia like you'd see a few people with them because they are so expensive but there everyone was buying them because you could get them for a bit cheaper but I was just kind of over it by the time I got there I was like eh no want to be a bit different don't want to be like everyone else yeah anyway <laughs> so I did get a couple of like designer knockoff bags I didn't want to get too many because like not really too fussed about that life. If I really, really want it, I'm gonna save up for like the real one and like keep that as like my little baby. But I did get this Gucci one for the reason of it. So it's, I don't know what it's actually called. Like I didn't do, I wasn't planning on getting any of these types of bags over there to be honest. I just really like the Bali fashion, like the, um, more of like the clothes that I'll show you. Um, but this bag was a really good find because not a lot of places were selling this one for like a good price. So this one has a double purpose. So it is a shoulder bag like this, um, but it also has the straps for the little bum bag. So when you open up, you find a little surprise. Oh, there's my earrings. Okay. <laughs> I thought I lost those. Um, so it has a little strap for the bum bag and you can just strap that through the little like things in here and you can adjust it so I think it's cool that it's a multi-purpose bag and that you can use it for both because I think the actual like if you were to buy these at Gucci you'd have to buy like this bag is separate and then the bum bag is separate as well so they're two different bags basically so this one I just have to be a bit careful with the zip because I am pretty like rough with those types of things um but this was a really cute find so pretty happy with that the last bag that I got was pretty impulsive actually. We were at this like stall and I just saw it and I was like, I love this. I just loved the design. I think it's so sleek and so like mature. I love the little snake like crocodile-ish like texture on it and just how lovely it looks. So it's Prada. The design, I love it. Um, and you can adjust these straps. I don't think I'd wear it this short. Um, and then it just, you open it and then that's inside. It's just like a really nice little evening purse and it says Prada Milano everywhere inside. You can take the straps off and just use it as a clutch if you want. So yeah, loves a good multi-purpose bag. You know what I mean? Let's move on to the clothes. Um, as I said, I'm not going to be trying these on, but if I do find a photo on my Instagram of me wearing them, I'll pop them somewhere on the screen. So, uh, some of these things might be hard for me to show you as well. So, this was a bit impractical, but bear with me, guys. So, first is, I, I don't really want to show you, like, the whole thing, because, you know, I ate a lot in Bali. So, I'm not going to show you my whole, um, what's it called? Oh, my God. My sunburn's so itchy. Oh, yeah, I got burnt. So, you know, everything happened to me in Bali. I got a bit of Bali belly, you know. Blech. Anyway. Just one of these, um, what are they called? I'm just, I just keep touching myself and then I just get really itchy. Um, they're just like boob tubes, right? And they were selling these at every single stall, um, thing. And they were like really cheap. And I normally don't like them, um, on me, but they were literally like four bucks. So I was like, you know what? I might just grab one even for like putting under things. So like your bra isn't showing or your boobs aren't showing. Um, just a bit, and just like to wear like this, so it's a little something, something under a jean jacket or something like that, something, something, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not cool enough to be talking like that, anyway, I am rambling, my head is a fuzzball, I don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm talking really quietly, and I need to sneeze, oh my god, 
Anywho, so I got this top, four bucks. The next kind of cash thing was actually kind of a bit weird. It's kind of more like a souvenir. I got this <laughs> barley top. I just love the colors, to be honest. Like, look at that. It's just a plain white top with these little symbols of like barley stuff. The next kind of like cliche top that I got from Bali was a Harley Davidson top. So I didn't get any of like the Adidas or Nike um, tops from there. My brothers, my brothers, I have one brother. My brother and my dad did, um, but I did not. Don't know why he'd care. Um, so I got a Harley Davidson one just because it just looks freaking cool to be honest. No, I don't know anything about Harley Davidson motorbikes or whatever it is but i'm just that ignorant person so just got a plain black t-shirt with the harley davidson stuff on it and it has it at the back and i just wore this on like a casual day with shorts and probably wear it with leggings at home because they don't really wear shorts at home so or jeans or something you could crop it i'd probably crop it but yeah i am exposed again i bought a pair of bathers because the three pairs that I bought with me were all one pieces and I thought one pieces would be the most flattering on me. Turns out they are not because my proportions aren't like the same. So with a one piece, unless it like fits really nicely and is like made for me, it doesn't look very good. I myself am not like a big beach person, really trying to be. Like I wanna change that outlook, I want to I think it's more because I'm not happy with my body and I'm just like not feeling myself that I'm just like, Ugh, I don't want to be in bathers. I don't want to go to the beach. Hate this, hate that. And I'm just trying to switch through my views on that sort of stuff because I don't want to be that person. I went into a little bathing suit boutique thing that they had in Bali on one of our days. Please don't judge how like big these are, but <laughs> hi. <laughs> the people that like serve me, because. Indonesian people like most of them so tiny like they are gorgeous like petite little people and when I was like yeah um, I'm gonna need a bigger size they were like really I was like yeah <laughs> um, so this is these are like high-waisted bottoms so they look like this and they have a little bit of paneling on the side and they have this really gorgeous like teal blue color these fit me so well and i just felt really good in them like mum was in the changing room with me and i was like mum i actually love these i freaking love them <laughs> um so yeah they made me feel really confident and that's all you could really ask for so got the bottoms and then the top just looked like this i was a bit worried about the top as well because like my boobies are quite large um and like the bottom isn't very like supportive at all it's just like a bit of fabric oops inside out it's just like yeah it's not very supportive um but it was fine for what i was there for mainly just on the beach sunbathing um so yeah and it has like a little clasp at the back like that and these were very comfy and they will be staying in my collection for as long as i stay at this size so love them onto the dressier types of clothes so this is gonna be really hard to show you, but it is a wrap dress. <laughs> Even though it doesn't look like it, it is a wrap dress. So let's see if I can try and put this in a nicer way. So these are very on trend at the moment, even in Australia. And this is gonna be hard because it's black as well. Um, but it just has like little frilly sleeves. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then it just, I can't remember if it's this way or that way, but one of these sides has like a little hole that you thread through one of these strings in. And it just wraps around like that and then you wrap it around your front and it flows down. These are like little frills as well. This is so annoying. If I was watching this video, I'd be like, dude, I hate that you didn't try this on. So it's about like floor length basically on me. It's a one size fits all in a lot of clothes there. So yeah it's just like really frilly i have um a, another wrap dress that's very similar it, even though it has a pattern and it's short it'll basically like show you how i wore that so um i'll pop a picture up when i explain when i show you the dress that i'm talking about. the next thing is also going to be a bit of a struggle to show you on camera um unfortunately i didn't wear these in bali and they're going to look super funny so hi 
<laughs> you know this you know what this reminds me of these are pants so this reminds me of on big mama's house one or two i can't remember where the wife picks up a pair of like underwear that she finds in her and her husband's bedroom and she holds them up and she's like what and they are massive um no offense but they are um <laughs> they are very big under a pair of underwear anyway this is what this reminds me of but honestly <laughs> they have ties on the um sides and they are like this so they kind of like have a split down the side and they go up all the way and then you tie them to like your they are one size fits all tie them to your preferred liking um but this material gets so creased which is very annoying and mum was annoyed at me <laughs> um she's like oh my god like it's so creased i'm like yeah i know sorry <laughs> don't know why i did that um but yeah <laughs> they are like this olivey dark color and i'm excited to get some wear out of them so yeah don't know how i'm gonna wear them yet but we shall see next thing was a pair of pants and of course i had to get these types of pants so they just have the elastic up the top and they're just long flowy pants um i wore this with another top that i picked up that i did not get out of my wardrobe but they are just those kind of like wrap tie up tops and it was long sleeve and like bell sleeved i'll show you a picture um pop it up here of me wearing these two together they are so lovely on um the second last thing i picked up was this little jumpsuit so it's an off the shoulder jumpsuit i'm just not going to take it off the hanger um and it has kind of three quarter -ish sleeves but they do come down quite far because it is off the shoulder so yeah then it has this little like elastic thing which is so flattering on jumpsuits hi <laughs> i look like casper the ghost just then so flattering on flattering on jumpsuits and then it has these frilly little shorts so i thought this was super duper cute and i wore this to dinner one time over there um but i don't think i have a photo of it which is great the last thing is another wrap dress. So the other one I was telling you about, this one's shorter and it has this gorgeous print on it, which I think is very barley. Um, and yeah, I'm in love. So this just does the same. It just wraps around your waist and I actually have a photo of that, so I'll pop that up. Um, but I love the frills and the frills on the sleeves. Actually, there's no frills on these sleeves, so ignore that, but it has the frills on the bottom. Gorgeous. Let's look alive, shall we? Ugh. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Comment down below some ideas or some questions that you want to ask me in like a future Q&A. Whatever you want. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.